going on y'all james from schumacher enterprises back here um another week another tournament vlogs i am uh currently headed down to holly springs to uh pat's house a uh, buddy of mine who i bowl a lot of these tournaments with um and we are headed down to buffalo lanes Irwin for another um another episode of the sports scratch series that uh ethan stanley runs down at buffalo Irwin. Uh, tonight we are bowling on the pba wolf pattern the 2021 edition more specifically which, off the top of my head, I believe is 34 feet and like 25, 26 mils, somewhere in there. Um, didn't play too terribly tough in the practice session, but I do think they're going to get kind of choppy um, as the lanes transition. Kind of it's kind of similar to what we had on the Abbey Road um, when we bowled on that a few weeks ago. So, um, I know I talked a little bit about the mental philosophy of how I was approaching it last time. Uh, I'm going to dig a little more into lane play here in kind of the intro piece. So on short in particular, there's two very distinct meta games that can happen. And those meta games mean the lanes are going to progress in a different way. And I've kind of built my bag for tonight with both of those possibilities in mind. Um, possibility number one is urethane looks good. Uh, which I am honestly expecting urethane usually looks at least decent at Buffalo Irwin. Um, twister pins and the back ends are not screaming at Irwin. So combination of that means that urethane and urethane type shapes usually work pretty well. Um, if that does happen, then usually my bailout ball from urethane is going to be to a more aggressive asymmetric piece. Um, in this case, I've got my Nova with me again. And I'll use that or use my Alpha Crux actually as a bailout ball from my Purple Hammer on Abbey Road. Nova is going to accomplish kind of a similar result, just with some nuanced differences essentially. Um, then from the Nova, um, going down into my Skypen Phase Three and then the Skypen Wolverine. So essentially, staying in those like faster project pickup tumble roll type of balls um, versus the stuff that's going to blend it a little bit more uh, because if. If I'm throwing urethane, I'm expecting a lot of other people are going to be throwing urethane as well, which means down lane is going to get tight, which means I'm going to need the extra kind of pop down lane to help my ball roll through the pins properly. Uh, so that's kind of, that's one half of my bag is, or one kind of one progression, so to speak, is purple hammer into the Nova, into the phase three, into the Wolverine. Um, the other kind of flip side is if urethane does not look that good, which is a possibility, um, actually bold in the sport league that i'm bowling in this spring we bowled on wtba stockholm last week which is another fairly short pattern it's 36 feet i believe and urethane looked absolutely horrendous so i'm not writing that off as a complete impossibility uh if that does happen then what i'm kind of expecting is down lane will not get as tight which means there will be more free hook down lane which means i won't need as much help from the ball to shape up and roll through the pins properly which means I'll be able to throw a slower, a slower response equipment. So kind of on that side of the bag, I've got a power torque and an obsession tour that I'm expecting we'll see some play on the fresh if resin ends up being the play. My obsession tour actually is really good for, uh, much better than I expected it to in the practice session last week. It just didn't look as good as urinating. Um, so I got a power torque and an obsession tour for the fresh. Uh, I've got my trusty Spectre with me, uh, which that ball has continued to impress me just in a variety of situations. It's a really good kind of very balanced workhorsey type ball that's kind of, it might not always be the right ball to go through the pins, but it feels like it's always in play. Um, so that's definitely coming along. And then once the Spectre goes away, I'll probably need the extra kick anyway, so then that's kind of converging with the uh, urethane branch, um, ending with the Wolverine in both cases. So that's kind of what I've got in the bag. Uh, definitely excited for tonight. I've been working physically. I, I have this habit of really walking away from the gutter randomly somewhere between two to four boards. Uh, so like if I'm standing on or right of about 15 or so, I'll drift another two to four boards left. And I haven't really been able to control it all that well in the past. Um, it's very annoying, makes shot repetition a little difficult. So I'm trying to, been focusing on that more uh, when I've been bowling on short recently, just to try and bring that little bit of extra consistency to uh, my shot to shot when I'm playing out like that. Um, so definitely gonna be focusing on that. But then 
again, it's kind of the same mantra as the last tournament is being present with whatever I'm doing and just stay in the moment, stay shot to shot. And let's do that for 50 frames and see what happens. So off we go. being honest, I'm not throwing it amazing right now. Uh, my shoulders have a tendency to get really quick when I'm throwing urethane up the lane like this. I feel like kind of to make it hook and trap it in front of me a little more. Um, it makes me bump over the thumb hole a little bit and I just get a little steep with my downswing. So I've been fighting that all day. Um, I am clean so far through 26 frames. I think I'm in 245, 220, or 246, 225, I think. Um, it's, it's a good day. I'm just fighting feels like I'm battle having to battle for every single hit but onwards and upwards um thinking about bailing from your thing it's getting a little sketchy but as long as you keep striking I'll keep throwing it Five and two ten games three and four. I think that puts me at plus eighty one if my math is correct. Eighty one or eighty six, somewhere in that range. So solid day. Um, I am not throwing it good, so I'm definitely battling physically, um, trying to just let the ball fall and not be too quick on my shoulders. So um, one game to go. I'm throwing this. So I went through. I bailed on your bailed on resin or bailed on urethane in game three, frame 10, it was on an open. Went gutter and then crumble bucket for an eight pin, so that was cool. Um, 
had gone to the Obsession Tour because I felt like Valmain was a little crispy and the Obsession just wouldn't come off the spot. So then I went to my Nova in the fifth frame, I think, of game four and had 66 in the fourth and bailed out 210. So solid recovery, but just um, I think I'm either in first or second right now. So it's not a, not a huge deal. There's only 14 people here tonight. So I just got to keep going. One shot at a time. Disappointing end of the qualifying. Um, Josh, class of like, hang on. All right, there we go. Um, disappointing end of qualifying. I am not throwing it good right now. Um, my back is not feeling amazing. My shoulders are tight. And everything's going downhill as a result. So I finished with plus 65. I shot 179. So I was plus 86 after four. And then I shot 179 with four splits, I think. So, not the best finish. Um, pretty comfortably in second place. I think the leader is about 20 to 25 pins ahead of me. And I'm comfortably in second. They're paying two spots. So, cashers round. Um, stretch goal is win. Real goal is hold second. And my glasses are fogging up again because it's hot in here. Um... And honestly, even more than that, I just want to figure out what the heck's going on and see if I can get my physical even figured out at least a little bit, because this feels honestly pretty bad right now. So it happens, it is what it is. Um, I'm struggling and I'm still gonna have a decent showing today, so it could be a whole lot worse. <sighs> Two games to go, let's get it. through second game of cashers round. Um, I have found something. Uh, might be enough to help me hold on to a cash spot. I think it's neck and neck between me and a guy on the next pair over. Unfortunately, I'm not catching the leader, so looks like probably second or third place, but I think I may have found something. I'm just trying to walk it at crawl speed and hoping it works. So 179 game one of cashers round, and I've got strike spare, gutter spare, double through five. I think I can cheat for 260? Yeah, 260. Need them all. Let's get it. Alrighty, so it is now Wednesday afternoon. Um, I'm gonna try and put a bow on this real quick. So, honestly, I cannot be upset with how Monday night went at all. Um, I know I was throwing it bad. Uh, my back was tight, my hips were not feeling great, my shoulders weren't feeling great. And a combination of all that meant that I knew, even game one when I shot 240, but I knew that I had outperformed my execution. Um, and so I ended up so I ended up finishing second. Uh, Jeff Beasley, who runs the pro shop down at Buffalo Irwin, bowled really, really well, ended up taking the win. And uh, I ended up holding on to second place by a pin, uh, so that was a lot closer than I intended it to be, but 
managed to hold on, uh, caught the uh, last cash spot and made a little bit of money. So that was definitely a, uh, a very positive outcome. Um, I did play the lanes wrong, I'm pretty sure, later in the day. I think I got out of urethane way too quick. Uh, and I think I got way too steep of my ankles way too quick. Because looking, looking back, I think the play was actually much more to stay on top of it and just essentially trick it with hand and ball speed and maybe throw slower stuff and try and beat up the pocket that way rather than try to get really steep with it and hook it off the gutter with resin. Uh, I ended up throwing, I think I guttered three times, uh, all of which were with resin uh, during the course of the tournament. So I, that does kind of make me think that maybe I was going in the wrong direction. But I mean, at the end of the day, I didn't throw it great. I didn't play the lanes right. And I still went plus for seven on a PBA pattern and made money. So realistically, I cannot be upset with that in the slightest. Um, if my bad days are still profitable days and I learn something and I have fun, then you know that's, that's about all you can ask for. Um, it was definitely, it was some good mental game practice because I was getting fairly frustrated later in the day. I don't know if it came through in the in the updates and where I was recording a little vlog updates during the uh, tournament. Um, I haven't watched those back yet, but it, it was definitely kind of just frustrating to know that I didn't have it to that extent, but at the same time, it happens. So, you know, it, it really do be like that sometimes. So anyways, this video is going to go live on Friday, which I believe I don't have my watch is dead. Um, Friday, I think is the 18th, if I remember right. Um, then the week after that, on the 25th, um, I'm probably going to do as close to a proper ball review as I've done in a while, uh, get a deep dive on the Obsession Tour, uh, kind of explain a little bit more of what I'm seeing out of that ball and why I like it so much. Um, that is a ball that has really, really, really impressed me, uh, since I drilled it up and I've been throwing it on basically everything. So kind of dive on that a little bit more. Um, then... Uh, I believe it's March 3rd, the first Friday in March. I am actually going to be down in Fort Myers, Florida for the, uh, the PBA regional down there. There's a non-champions regional uh, the first weekend of March. So I'm probably going to have a few different video updates uh, coming from that. I'm not going to live stream it. I don't really want to deal with that, to be honest. Um, not in a tournament like that. Uh, but I will have some videos coming out of that. And then also... Uh, coming later in March, I'll have more, you know, probably another tournament vlog. Um, and I definitely want to dive a little more into the mental game side of things, probably with another car vlog like this, just kind of talking through some stuff, essentially, as much as anything else. So, anywho, um, I have to sign off for now, but I hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, definitely let me know if you have any questions. And until next time, good luck and good bowling. Peace.